With the recent tremor that jolted central Visayas, though, the level of preparedness in the event of another tragedy is raised. This is particularly true in Metro Manila, where the West Valley fall closely lies. In this report, Pia Ontiveros tells us what a powerful quake can do to the metro. Exactly what will happen to Metro Manila if a 7.2 quake strikes? A total chaos. So if it's time, time, night time, uh, cover of darkness, uh, mayhem and panic would ensue. That's a war scenario, atmosphere, night time. Daytime, uh, better chances tayo siguro, similar to what happened in, in, in Bohol, uh, but just the same, panic. There have already been two warnings made loud and clear. The Japanese government, who funded a study released in 2004, known as the Metro Manila Earthquake Impact Reduction Study, and the Australian government, who bankrolled an updated study released just last Thursday, both are concerned about the risk of unpreparedness. 37,000 deaths, 600,000 injured, hundreds of thousands of square meters of floor space in varying degrees of damage or collapse, 500 fires raging, the instant a magnitude 7.2 West Valley Fault earthquake hits the greater Metro Manila area. With no col no uh, then, oh. MMDA so Chairman Francis Tolentino showed Solar News the maps that were the results of the risk pala, analysis pala, project pala. funded by Australian pala. Aid, released only last Thursday. Wala pa mi kopya nito, except the mayors and me. This particular map shows the number of fatalities in every barangay. White means there are zero or no fatalities. There are very, very few of those white spots, meaning the prediction is that the 37,000 deaths will be spread evenly throughout the metropolis. Yellow means low fatality density, but that means anywhere between 0 to 200 people are expected to die in that area. Take note that almost the entire map is covered in yellow. Areas colored orange means anywhere between 201 to 500 people are expected to die in that area, and that's just considered a moderate fatality density. Areas in pink means 501 to 1,200 people are expected to be killed in those areas when the earthquake strikes. High fatality density. And areas in red are where the prediction is that more than 1,200 people will die. Very high fatality density. Take a look at the map that shows estimated number of life-threatening injuries. Areas in white mean zero life-threatening injuries. Yellow means anywhere between 1 to 100 people will be seriously injured in these areas. Orange means 101 to 200 people will be seriously injured. Pink, 201 to 300. And red, more than 300. And that's just those with very serious injuries, approximately 16,000 a small fraction of the total 600,000 who will be injured. With 600,000 injured, where will medical aid come from? Uh, that is assuming, you know, assuming that uh, our hospitals are still standing. So, you mga existing buildings that like survive the earthquake and with uh, the medical staff in there will be the first ones to receive the injured victims. And this map shows what areas will have complete collapsed damage of structures in square meters. Homes and buildings that are not built up to standard or comply with the National Building Code are sure to be destroyed. White areas mean there will be no collapsed structures at all. Yellow areas mean anywhere between 1 square meter to 41,500 square meters of collapsed structures. Orange means 41,501 to 83,000 square meters. Pink means 83,001 to 124,500 square meters. And red means 124,501 square meters or more. That's just damage to buildings and homes. Authorities are worried about the 500 fires that will break out all over the metropolis, 80 of them in Pasig City alone. Yung isang sunog nating malaki, hindi natin mapatay halimbawa sa recto, sa kubaw. Paano yung limandaan? Diba? Yeah. Next to impossible. Pia Ontiveros, Solar News.